Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a temperature change relay from Gizmodorks. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament was fun to play with. It's a PLA filament that changes color in regard of temperature. This blue when it's cold and white when it's warmed up. So it was quite fun to see how it printed, uh, changing color over the process of the print. But this is set here to print at 190 to 225 degrees on the hot end um, with a room temperature to 70 degrees on the heated bed. And prints at 30 to 70 millimeters per second. And this is from Gizmodorks. I was printing at 210 degrees and I was quite happy with that uh, temperature. And I'm going to show you the prints I did. So here's a retraction test I did first and it was coming out excellent. And I had a tiny amount of stringing at the topmost part but nothing too serious and it was working quite well. And I'm holding one strand here to heat it up and now you can see how how it heats, heat affects the plastic, it changes color, so it's a quite funny effect. Um, if I put a heat gun to it, it will turn white and then slowly it will go back to blue. So if I leave it here, it will turn blue in a, in a minute. But I have another retraction setting here and I'm going to test the strength and it's, I would say, pretty good layer adhesion. And here I'm, just, if I break the top parts it breaks but the bottom parts are quite difficult to break. Um, so it's a quite, quite stiff material and it's just working quite well. I then printed out the bridging test. And that also came out excellent. Uh, so a few strands here in the longer spans that was showing a little bit of drooping, but nothing too serious. So I was quite happy with this. Um, it's quite quite tough. It's uh, rather difficult to to break it. So it has good good strength to it, and not not very brittle. And then printed out the overhang tests. And those came out excellent. I printed them like this on the bed and like this. So one was facing the nozzle, the part cooling fan, and one didn't. And actually, the the part that was facing away from the part cooling fan did a little bit better. And the one that was facing the fan had a little bit of issue at the topmost part, but uh, very little drooping in the end. So overhang performance of this filament is very good. Um, here in the thin part you can see how the, the heat from my fingers affect the filament. Um, now you can see this one is starting to get blue again. So it's uh, quite uh, fun to play with. Uh, so here are the brake tests. Um, this one is printed on the bed like this. Um, this one is on the bed like this, so I can test out layer adhesion and the overall strength. And it was medium difficulty to, to break this. It was not as brittle as normal PLA, I would say. It's a bit a little bit. And here on the layer adhesion, I would say it's a medium layer adhesion. So I was quite happy with the layer adhesion. For this one. I then printed this test and here I had some bridging and they were looking excellent. Um, here's some overhangs that were coming out excellent also. Um, absolutely no issues and the dome was very clean. Um, no issues. So I was quite happy with this print. There was a tiny amount of stringing in the tower here but nothing too serious. So printing with this filament was very easy. Um, then I printed out my microcoin and that came out excellent. There was no no issues to speak of. Um, came out pretty good. Um, it's quite funny to see how the heat gun affects it. <laughs> Turns white and now it's cold on this side and hot on this side. So 
quite uh, funny how it behaves. So it's maybe not a very practical use of <laughs> of the material to to have it a heat changing material, but it's a fun thing to play with. Um, it's like a trick that you can show people. But it's coming out great, and printing with this filament was excellent. So this was my look on the Gizmodorx temperature color change PLA. It was printing out without any issues. I printed out 210 degrees and had very good results. It came out pretty strong prints and it was very easy to print with and no issues. So this is something you can look at if you want to get a temperature change filament. It's a fun th thing to play with. I'm not sure of the practical applications <laughs> for it, but it's a fun thing to do, and especially to show kids a magic trick and a thing that you can change the colors of. So I would give this filament a go if I was looking for a color change filament. So this will be it for this video, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.